Hey what's up guys, Love Day here and welcome back to another video. Uh, a couple of days ago I posted a video about IRFFB and how to set it up without VJoy. Uh, well, I figured out how to do it with VJoy. So I was having a lot of issues, um, mostly related to VJoy, not with IRFFB. Um, but I found out how to do it and today I'm going to be showing you what I did to fix it. Let's go over to this screen so I can show you. So what you want to do first is you want to go to the VJoy driver download. Uh, this is a very specific version of VJoy. Uh, because the newer version does not work uh, with IRFFB because IRFFB was last updated in 2018 and VJoy has moved on since then. Um, doing it this with this version is the only way to make it work with VJoy. Um, so yeah, version 2.1.8 build 39 is the latest in the 2.1.8 uh, version. Uh, numbers. This is the one you want to use, uh, basically. It's uh, the only one that's compatible with uh, IRFFB. So download this one. Uh, I'll link in the description as well. Uh, make sure it's the 2.1.39 version. All you want to do is just click the VJoy setup button here, download the EXE, and give that a run. So once you've downloaded the VJoy driver, you want to open up the config. Uh, make sure you select the config in the optionals in the uh, installer. Uh, you will have to restart your computer a couple times uh, just to get it all to work. So what you want to do is you want to click VJoy device 1. Make sure, very important, you are definitely on version 2.1.8. Uh, IRFB will not work unless you're on that version. Right, so what you want to do is you want to select the VJoy device 1, change the axis to X, and then turn everything else off, and then enable force feedback. Uh, if you do want to uh, add your buttons to the VJoy device, uh, it's completely up to you. You can map them in most sims without the VJoy device, but this obviously is only setting up for iRacing. So what you'd want to do is basically just, I've left it off effectively. I've tested this, so you basically, the only time the VJoy device is going to be connected is if you have IRFFB on. It does work in other sims if you just leave it as is and just don't turn on IRFFB. I have tested it, uh, Assetto Corsa, F1, um, ACC, I've tested all of those. You don't have to kind of come into this and then disable VJoy and all that stuff to get the driver to stop working. Uh, the wheel does work if you just don't turn on IRFFB, um, so that's the thing to note. So yeah, once you've done that, enabled it and applied, uh, you're going to have to restart your computer again because it's stupid and it's setting up a driver that works with that. Um, it's annoying, but this is the trouble that I was having. I was rest restarting my PC about 10 times in an hour. Not even that. Uh, 45 minutes, 10 times. So yeah, we've set it up. It looks like this. Everything's fine. What you want to do is you want to open up IRFFB. And now, what the, the main thing you want to make sure that this happens. Acquire DI, devi DI device with 108 buttons on my PAV, that's obviously my McLaren rule. Uh, VJoy driver to version 0218 in it OK. Acquired VJoy device 1, VJoy force feedback thread starting. That is the most important thing. If you don't see that, you need to start again and try something else. Because this is what you need to see. You need to see that. Um, to use it direct mode, obviously you'd want to be using the direct mode. Uh, I've got it on direct filtered 360 at the moment. Um, I haven't tried the 720, but uh, 360 for now is just how I managed to get it working. Uh, and then there is that. So, not much else really changes with the settings. Uh, obviously, you can use 360 hertz telemetry for suspension effects in direct modes. Um, you can do that or not that. You also get the understeer effects enabled because you have uh, the direct mode on. So let's now give this a go and see if we can actually see a difference. Right, so we are in game. Let's see if we now can feel a difference. So the main thing was the latency. Uh, I didn't really find it to be an issue. I can already tell you that it's, it's ever so slightly better um, in the direct mode. Yeah, okay. Actually, I say ever so slightly. <laughs> the the response time on it is a lot, a lot better. It's about half the response time from what it was before. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't doesn't help my terrible driving. Clearly, um, I just obviously haven't driven this car. We use that excuse. Oh. Okay, yeah. So I'm trying to match it with the sounds as to what I'm feeling. So I was like, oh shit. 
obviously hitting the goal. Not in the indie layout. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I thought I pressed the indie layout. Oh well, let's do the full GP circuit. That felt really good, by the way. That was like a drift that I could feel. That was nice. Right, so. Um, I was testing it on the curbs just then. Uh, to do basically what I could hear on the curbs compared to what I could feel. And it was... Uh, yeah. It's, it's basically there. It's basically as you would see it. Or as you would feel it. So I can see that... Uh, the reactions are definitely a lot tighter. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with IRFFB, uh, check out my other video uh, here. You, yeah, right where I am now. Um, that'll explain it just a little bit. Obviously not in depth, it's more of like a uh, how to set it up more than an in-depth review of it, kind of. Not really all that knowledgeable when it comes to what it does. I just know that it makes it feel better. <laughs> and that's all I care about. <laughs> So let's try and do something a bit slidey. Yeah, I can feel it load up as well. I can, feel, I can basically feel what all the tyres are doing. There, I felt it load up there. There, there we go. It's, it's extraordinary that it doesn't happen in the game on its own. Like you actually have to download a program, multiple programs even, to get it to work how you, you really want it to. Yeah, I could feel it get a bit loose and then tighten up on the right side. Where the right end was kind of digging down, I could feel it tighten up on the right hand side of the wheel. Strange to think that the force feedback's telling me that. And especially on what side of the car it is, that it is loading up. There you go, power down too early and caught the back end as it started sliding. And there as well. I was trying to force it around that time. I can feel it sliding, but I could I could feel it sliding. Whereas before, I'd have to like see it sliding to be able to make any adjustments. Um, yeah, definitely the, the added response time having uh, VJoy enabled. It's a lot. Yeah, you feel that load. Oh, the lock-up as well. So I locked up slightly and I was trying to turn. And it was, uh, it was obviously where it was locked up. The wheel just got really heavy. I don't like again. I don't know if that's an eye racing thing now because I haven't played without eye for B in a long, long time. I think I got back into eye racing not too long ago. Oh, there we go. Just kept it pinned, and that was not a good idea. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I got back into eye racing not too long ago. So coming back, and I just went. Well, I know about eye for B. Let's set it up. Set it up, and I haven't driven without it since. Um, but yeah, no, definitely response time compared to um, having it. Oh, let's go to the screen. Hello. Uh, the response time compared to having it just based on um, the telemetry and not uh, an, an input device. Um, I think there was a, a, a. I think they say it's about thirty milliseconds, thirty to forty milliseconds through just the um, the telemetry mode, and then direct through VJoy, it's about uh, ten to fifteen milliseconds. So you're cutting that um, delay down in half, uh, and I think you can definitely feel it. I mean. It's it's a lot more responsive. Uh, it's a lot nicer to kind of as you as you notice the slip, you can actually quite easily grab it quicker. Um, I mean, like before, without IRFFB in either mode, you wouldn't be able to notice the slip and you wouldn't be able to catch it unless you're you're trained to see it. Uh, so being able to feel it in general, either with or without VJoy, um, just IRFFB in general is just is just a yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish they'd do an updated version so it wasn't so much of a, a faff to try and get it to work. But, uh, but yeah, got it working. I hope this uh, has helped you get it working as well. Uh, if it has, let me know in the comments. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you really like, subscribe and play with that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video, whenever that may be. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. All right, I'm going to do more laps and not spin because I can feel what's happening with a good response time. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.